Today, I take one of my oldest friends, James, out on his first ever hiking and wild camping adventure. We had an amazing time, but of course, not everything went to plan. <sighs> Whew. Probably the hottest day of the year today, man. Easily. What a view, huh? Incredible size, man. So beautiful. What do you think? Sweaty. 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 Very, very sweaty so far. <laughs> the water's up ahead, James. We've been marching for the last hour and one minute, hour and 10 minutes, and it's the hottest day of the year. But we've been marching to this lake to try and cool off. We think we're gonna jump in. Um, but oh my God, look at this. It's so beautiful. Look at this. Oi, that's crazy, dude. Are we getting in? No question. No question. <laughs> yeah, we had planned to jump in the lake at the end, but actually it's so bloody hot. I think we're gonna do it at the start. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Dude, this is mental. Oh, it's actually incredible. <laughs> See how cold it is, dude. Ooh. Socks off. See my pasty white feet. Who hasn't, like, who doesn't have pasty white feet, though? You have to be a sandals wearer. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was gonna be freezing. Dude, it's actually well nice. <laughs> this is sick. It's cold, but in a good way, like, it's awesome. Oh, uh, watch out for Nessie, like, Loch Ness. Look at this view. That is crazy. Feels like we're at the beach, James. It's better than the beach, man. I think I'd have to agree. Yeah, this is the first time James has been in the mountains. Hey, James. <laughs> it's the first time we've been in the mountains together. It's the first time James has been in the mountains in a long, long time. So it's his first hike, first mountain visit, first wild camp. Yeah, it's going to be an epic day of epic proportions. We have today, tonight, and then tomorrow in the morning, and then we're gonna drive home tomorrow afternoon, but we're just gonna take our time and chill. We've got a rough route in mind of what we wanna hike, but we are just taking our time with it. We're just gonna see how we go, and then just basically focus on finding a nice place to pitch up the tent, really. Just keep it super, super chill, and enjoy it, to be honest. Yeah, the hike was hard getting up here. It was sweaty, it was warm, and we didn't know when we were gonna to get to this lake. But now we're at this lake, it all feels worth it. Next up, we gotta get up to the top of there. Maybe have a beer first. Maybe, yeah? James is nodding his head. Yes, yes to the beers. <laughs> awesome, catch up with you guys soon. Oh man, that was good. Look at this guy out there. He's a strong swimmer to be doing that. Let's see how bad it is. <laughs> yeah, this is for the, the 7,000 subscriber special. We jump into this freezing cold lake. Jesus. God, the stones are so hard to balance. Oh, Ooh, that's gonna be cold. <laughs> yeah, it's cold, brother. <laughs> yeah, I would recommend. Yeah. I'm not convinced, bro. I'm not convinced. I'm gonna tug my bit. Yeah. It's better when you move around. Give me a second, I'm coming in. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. It's yeah, it's not warm in there, I'll be honest. It's cool. Guys, I jumped in. It was freezing, but <laughs> so nice, so refreshing. James is about to do the plunge. He's got a beer, nice, strong. This, how is this the hiking trip? We've only been hiking for about an hour and a bit, an hour and a half, and we're already in the lake. Today's getting off to a good start, I'd say. Go on, James, send it, mate. He's gonna do it, he's gonna do it. Five minutes, five minutes, he said. Once you get moving, like, it's actually all right. I was sort of swimming back and forth and I definitely warmed up. And in 25 degree weather like this, yeah, it's absolutely fine. You can just stomach it pretty easily. What a day for it. Oh, cheers, brother. Oh, oh, wait, can I do it one-handed? You used to be ready. There we go. Ready? Cheers. <laughs> oh, oh, God. It's gotta be done. No, I'm, I'm warm now. Boiling, actually. Maybe too hot, mate. Look, we're not the only ones here. Good crew of people. All enjoying this amazing lake. Go on, James. James is about to go in. Go on, dude. Whoa, he's done it. Jeez. 
Go on, lad. How is it? Oh my god. <laughs> now you can see you swam in a mountain lake. Pretty cool. What a day. It's just getting started, mate. Cheers, brother. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. This is awesome. It's so sick, isn't it? This is need I didn't know I needed to do this, man. Mm. Well then, this is the tip of the iceberg. There's so much to see. Finish the beer, I'm gonna put that in the bag because absolutely leave no trace, always leave no trace, guys. We're gonna get up here next and then hit the summit of this. And then from there, we're gonna figure out where we wanna go next. We're all packed up and ready to go. The lake treated us very well, but it is now time to get back to the path. What a day this has been. And honestly, this is, we're just getting started, really. Let's press on. Oh. Hike is going well so far. We started off just down there, guys. It's where we were just swimming. It's absolutely stunning out here. So beautiful. The heat's calmed down a lot more now, so everything is a lot more stomachable. But yeah, we're just feeling really good. We just smashed this hill and we are up over to the peak now. I think the name of this mountain is called Kidra Idris. I can't say it, Kedra Idris. I'll put it on screen now. Um, yeah, we're gonna hit that summit in the next hour or so and then we think we're gonna camp up there above us now. Um, yeah, it's gonna take it as it comes, guys, but yeah, it's going really, really well. Feeling super positive. Oh, what a beautiful day. Look at that, guys. Oh, I know some people hate these things. Personally, I think they're great. I'm a fan, and I always love doing this. Whoa, here we go, done, bomb. Look at this view, man. This is incredible. Beautiful, man. Oh, you don't get this in Hertfordshire, do you, James? I know, you can see so far. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, we're so lucky to be out here, dude. We're so lucky. I can't believe this is in the UK. It is amazing. Oh, yeah, we are so lucky with this weather. I'm so happy right now. It's so good to switch off, be outside, be with nature, unwind, and just, you know, just get stuck in. Just enjoy this landscape and take it in for what it is. It's really remarkable. And yeah, I'm having an amazing time. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, do me a favor and like it and also subscribe, come and join our channel. We're trying to hit that 7K. We're trying to hit that 10K by the end of the year. So subscribe and join us. Anyways, let's carry on with the hike. What a view. It's gonna be good from the top, man. It's gonna be beautiful. Oh mate, we were just down there. That is wild. That is actually crazy. Jesus. Oh my God. We just met some really nice guys. They recognized me from the video I just did with Al the other day. So many nice people up here on the mountain. Really cool community up here. And I've literally only ever met sweet, nice people. Yeah, really positive place. Just full of people who, you know, have a lot in common, have a lot of positivity, a lot of joy for life and joy for adventure. It's awesome. It's a nice place to come and it's full of good people. Oh, we're nearly there, man. Oh, feeling that heat now. We're in a struggle city right now, but we're getting there. We're doing really well. We are now on the, on the hike to the top of Kidrer, Kader Idris. I cannot say that name. I know you're gonna slay me in the comment section for that. We're enjoying the hike, and we are nearly at the top of our main mountain. And then after that, we are gonna set up. We're gonna find a place to pitch our tent. And I'm really excited for this. This is gonna be James's first wild camp. This is his first hike, James's first wild camp. James's first adventure. Are you excited for it, James? Good. Let's go. He's not. We're dead. I'm not. I'm just. I'm trying to put positive spin on things, but I am absolutely dead. And so is he. <laughs> it is, man. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, we can see the top. God, hottest day of the year. We've been doing it for three hours thirty seven minutes of hiking. And we are nearly at the top. We've been smashing this. Ah, oh, check this out. Look at that. Go on, lad. 
<sighs> yes, dude. That is it. <laughs> we did it, mate. But, 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 but. <sighs> mate, what a mission. Oh my god. I know. It's, good it's incredible, bro. Man, sick up here. What a view. Nice one, bro. Nice one. My guy. We fucking smashed it. James's first mountain. Good? Yeah, I'm alive. Yep. I'm tired, but I'm alive. <laughs> now I think it's time to set up camp. Bed down for the night somewhere. Cook some noodles. I think that's priority number one. Feed. Lots of noodles. Lots of noodles. <laughs> Alright, let's get stuck in. That's the hardest part over, mate. Now from here, it's all fun. It's classic super noodles. It is pretty much a staple of every one of my hikes now. They're easy to cook, easy to transport, and they are pretty good for, for, for how much they are. They're like a quid 50 for a pack and they're pretty darn good. James got two, I've got one, but I'm all right with just having half the amount that he's got because I have a new addition and this is inspired by Al, so shout out Al, Bushman and Blue. I have some baby food with me, guys. I have mango breakfast baby food. I've already had one of these. It's so good. It just gives you like the kind of nice bit of vitamins without like, if you have an actual apple, like they, they tend to get warm and mushy, but this already mushed up like uh, baby food is just super refreshing. And yeah, small little hack, it's super cheap in Audi. And that's kind of why I got it. It's a good thing to get. It's very handy for hikers. We are going to set up camp, but we're not sure where yet, but we both started getting hangry. So we decided <laughs> we'd cook and then make a decision after that, basically. I mean, it's a bit bait but we could just camp here, right on the top of this mountain. We're at Kidra Idris, it's the summit is literally 50 feet that way. We're right by the emergency hut. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. This one fly will not leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it all the way through. bright blue tent in the game. This is super incognito tent. Look at this. <laughs> as you could probably tell, this is James's first time wild camping. And uh, this is James's first tent as well. So I should have given him more instruction. I take full responsibility for this decision. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm only kidding, man. It's a good tent at the end of the day. It's obviously quite luminous, but it actually looks pretty decent. All right, awesome. Yeah, now I need to set up mine. No, I'm only, I'm only goofing around. It is actually a nice tent. All right, now, let's set up my tent. Oh. That's how big my tent is, bro. <laughs> You're gonna laugh at how small it is. Should I have it face like this? Yeah. Bit of a jimmy. I've been on a fair few trips in this tent, to be fair. This, this has been with me on like almost every wild camp I've done so far. I want one that's just designed differently. Like this just can't really hack the wind. Yeah, bring it to the corners here. Yeah. Where it's gone in, they clip in. James's palace, check this out. It's huge, dude. I'm getting in, I'm getting in. I can, I can fit in here comfortably, bro. <laughs> Look at this. There's enough room for all of us. Anyone want to come over, join us, get stuck in? Check this out. This is our camp right now. And this is our views, dude. Look at this. Woo! Neither mine or James's tents are incognito, are they? They're quite, they're quite bright, let's be honest. But we're still coming to terms with wild camping. This is only my sort of fourth trip while camping and this is James's first. So we're still figuring things out, still figuring out the right kit and uh, figuring out budgets as well. Tents are expensive guys, like as awesome as it would be to be able to own one of those Land Shan, whatever they are, they're all like 500 pounds and I don't really have that going spare right now. So I'm still rocking the, uh, the I think Al described it as two pieces of paper pushed up against each other. And yeah, James just got this one. It's more of like a festival tent, but hey, it does the job right now. It's so good just being out here with James. It's so much more fun. I normally do all of these hikes by myself and do wild camping by myself. You may have noticed, to be honest, that I've slowed down loads on the production of my videos, um, especially this year. I'm not going, I haven't been on as many trips. I haven't been on as many hikes or camps. And to be honest, 
It's all been because I still love going outside. I love hiking, I love wild camping, but I'm kind of getting to the end of my tether with doing it by myself. As fun as it is going on these adventures, I genuinely feel that the adventures are better when they're, when they're shared. You know, there's that quote that says, happiness is only real when shared. And I tend to just enjoy trips with my friends more now. So, you know, going out of Al, doing something with the hardest geezer and now with James, like it's been so much more fun. Those have been the highlights of this year so far. Later on this year, I'm gonna do the Tour de Mont Blanc with my brother. And yeah, I'm really just excited to do trips with other people now. I think it just gives it another edge, makes it way more fun. And yeah, you have like more laughs and just more banter. So, so yeah, that's why there's been a bit of a slowdown on hikes and adventures, as well as I've also got a new job. So I haven't had as much time to be able to dedicate to the channel, but um, and this sheep wants to be in the video too So me and this sheep the Sally. What should we call her Sally? Uh, Sally's gonna come on a solo hike with me. What's he up to? You know what I mean? James, am I gonna get around? Mate, what? Where have they all appeared from? There's like 10 sheep We were having a heart-to-heart -heart right now and 10 sheep just shot. What is this? Hopefully none of our stuff will get eaten by sheep. This one's particularly interested in my tent. They're little rascals, aren't they? All right, it is now beer o'clock guys. We've set up the camp. Oh, James, what do you have? Show them. Show them what you've got, my friend. Sam, Sam McQuail. This is Heineken Original. Both from Tesco's. Cheers. Oh, Co-op. I, I apologise. Both from Co-op. Shout out Co-op. Sponsor me. Ready? Oh, he's done it. Oh, rude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mate, that would get as well, to be fair. Cheers, buddy. Problem is, I got two and you only got one, so... James, can you tell the people how you found it so far. For the record, just say again, this is James's first ever wild camp. That's why he's got the luminous blue tent. Uh, <laughs> and we're asking him, how's he found it so far? We've been on, what, a four, how many miles did we do? 6.2 kilometers trek. We've done a lot of elevation game, we've done a lot of hiking, and we went swimming. James, how was your first wild camping experience? Well, sir, well, I've absolutely loved it. Yeah, I think before coming, I was super excited. And then kind of going up that first bit of the mountain, I was kind of a bit, you know, nervous for the rest of it because it was kind of hard work, you know, we had so much longer left to go. But yeah, I think as soon as we got to the lake, that was that was definitely my favourite part of the day, just because it was so nice to cool off. Yeah, the view was just amazing. And Would you say it's been a success? Oh, absolutely, man. Yeah. Anyone that hasn't done it should totally do it. You know? Anyone that hasn't done it needs to do it because, you know, it's just, it's just lovely to escape, you know, everyday life. Um, it's the best way to do it, honestly. It was super hard getting on that last bit of the mountain. But as soon as we reached the top, it was like all the endorphins came through, man. So, yeah, I love that. Would hope 100% recommend. Nice one. We get more more hikes from James and Dave coming soon. Wee! It's so fun wild camping. To the viewers, to the people watching at home, if you're thinking about doing this, definitely do it. It's so fun. Like, I'm not even a pro. I'm literally like I barely scratched the surface. I've been on four wild camps. This tent is ridiculous color. You know, I don't have all the right kit, but you still just get stuck in and you do it. And it's so fun. And obviously, we're still figuring out the kit. We're still figuring out where to go, the best places, how to do it, and everything. But we have fun, you know, learning along the way. And it's fun. It's easy. And it's a great way to switch off, do something different, something positive as well. It's not just going to the pub or just you know the same old, same old. It's different every time. And yeah, we've got really lucky with the weather. But it's been an awesome day. I think need to sink these now and watch watch this beautiful sunset. I'll show you these mountainscapes as well because it is incredible here. Such a good view. I'm loving this wild camping spot. I think you're probably going to see some sheep get involved as well. <laughs> yeah, more Sally. Get her in. the sun go down it's been it's been incredible really beautiful night but now I think it's time to wind down and chill so yeah it's gonna settle down now and go to bed I think it's gonna be a pretty clear night there's not much wind it's cloudy in the distance but hopefully we wake up tomorrow to blue skies fingers crossed ah oh, yeah this is this has been like one of my favorite trips so far but yeah anyways oh, I will see you in the morning We've just woken up, it's 6.30 in the morning. The wind is crazy. It's 
been a bit nuts all night to be honest. I haven't really slept very well at all, but we are gonna pack up our tents and then we're gonna think about making a move because this wind is absolutely nuts. But yeah, we'll check in with you soon. tent to put away we had a look at the view and it was amazing so beautiful over there but yeah we didn't really sleep very well last night at all our tents were super loosened by the wind and were flapping around and yeah we struggled for sleep we're right by the hut right now um so it's not windy here but on the main mountain itself it is still quite windy i think we're going to slowly make our way back to the car and just go go at our own pace and just enjoy it we're just gonna see how it goes really but also check this out this is a hut that's at the top of this mountain it's pretty spooky it looks a little bit like Bla blair witch but uh, it's pretty cool. Let's check it out. Look at this. Look at that. Sacrificing table in the middle there. It smells in here. It's pretty creepy. Anyways, let's get back to hiking. <laughs> we here. Hello. <laughs> Swimming down there, dude. It's crazy. That was us down there yesterday. Oh. Yeah, it was epic, man. Really beautiful. Boulders, boulders, boulders. All right, guys. We are on the last trek now down to our car and I think I'm going to leave it there. It's been an awesome, awesome trip. We did some wild camping, loads of hiking. We went swimming, had a couple of beers. It was really fun. James, your first time wild camping, mate. Was it good? Yeah. You need to do it if you haven't done it yet. Honestly, it's amazing. Tiring, but amazing. Oh, I'm glad to hear it, dude. Yeah, it was awesome. Definitely check it out, like James says. Yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for joining us on this trip. It's been really awesome, and we've loved having you here with us too. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here. And also drop a comment if you feel like it too. All right, awesome, guys. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon.